but Patrick Antonio's checked the full house three consecutive times, and he just knew that Tony would take the bait at the river. It was uh, it was it was reminiscent of of Johnny Chan, wasn't it? In Rounders, when he's he's checked the straight three times to Eric Seidel after flopping the nuts. What it felt like to me. Yeah, but Eric had top pair in that hand. I don't blame him for betting that. But that was Eric Seidel's first year of tournament poker. Finished second in the main event, and obviously now he's the all-time money winner in the history of poker in terms of tournament play. And Eric Seidel was over here playing in the Premier League. Yeah, he enjoyed himself over here. Had he made it through to the final, I believe he'd have stayed and played this cash game, but Check. he didn't want to wait two days. <laughs> Check, check on the flop. This pot just uh, a small raise and call for the button for Trinket. Jungle Man in the straddle spot. And maybe, maybe Sam Trinket's got somebody on the hook here. Well, he thought he had him on the hook when he flopped the top pair. But now the jungleman's bet out when the queen comes off, so Trickett not so happy about trapping anymore, maybe, but he's definitely going to pay him off. What did you mean to bet 600? Seven. <laughs> Better, <laughs> hope, <laughs> only bet 600 Better hope a 10 doesn't come off. <laughs> he's teasing. These guys know each other pretty well, and I think Sam's right. Oh, my gosh. Oh, boy. A 10 does come off, giving Trick a two pair. The jungleman yeah. has a straight. Wow. He's managed to check it. He's managed to check it. Has jungle man. It's just like he knew he made two pair on the river. Only way you can check that. Just incredible. Well, watch this, folks. Punishment is coming. The jungle man checked that on the river after betting it along. I, I, I guess it, it, has, it just has more to do with he just thinks any hand that Trickett calls with, or most of the hands he calls with on the turn, he's going to try and get a, a value bet in on the river, Mike. Well, you're going to see Trickett's forehead hit the green felt very shortly because it's going to go bonk just as soon as Jungle Man raises him. He's going to say, you've got to be kidding me. Nice. Well, he does get raised. So it's just a question of how much. It looks well, like about 2700 perhaps. Get the camera back on Trickett here so you can see his frustration. And this is also where you get to see the kind of stuff Trickett's made of. Is This looks like to me an impossible hold, Mike, but I know Trickett does not like paying off hands on the river. How how tough a fold is this? He does beat a bunch of hands, doesn't he? Yeah, not so easy. He beats a lot of hands, but none that the guy's going to raise with. I mean, essentially, he can beat a bluff now. The guy's going to just call him with two queens. He's going to come with two jacks. But Trickett's just curious. It's really weird that you've got 150 now. It's made it all more complicated. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's counting the pot up. It's Trickett. It's a slow roll, by the way. Uh, Trickett was positive, absolutely positive, that Jungle Man meant to bet 600 on the river instead of 150. Well, he makes a call. Excuse me, on the turn. Jungle Man shows him the straight. I don't think Jungle Man could have played that any better. <laughs> wow, he called out he called out his hand. It's like he knew it when he checked. Yeah. That shows you how good these guys are. I really thought Trigger would get away from that hand. Truthfully, once he gets raised there, all he can beat is a bluff. Made it 2,700, right? But obviously, Jungleman capable of bluffing there. He 